skills, guys. So please, we're gonna focus on these communication skills, okay? It, uh, it, is there any room for communication skills? Meaning, meaning. History, we know. I give you the, the condition, I give you how much history you ask. Management, management, managing, managing the high blood pressure, we know. I give you the condition and I give you how to manage it. But the factor that is different between me and the doctor is what? Is there rules for communication? Is there rules? Yes, we teach you how to communicate as well. What do you mean by we teach you how to communicate? What do I mean by this? We teach you how to communicate. Guys, communication has certain rules. Number one rule in communication, in order to be good in communication, what do you think? Number one, in order to be good in communication, what should you do? You should be a good listener. You should be a good listener. So yes, there are rules in communication. Yes, communication skills is the factor, is the reason why you would fail the exam, not the knowledge. Why not the knowledge? Why? Why not the knowledge? Why? Why knowledge is not going to be the factor for people to fail the exam? I told you, I told you. I give you the recalls. What is the recalls? I give you past exam questions. You will go there, you will find this. No doubt, the 16 OSCEs in my academy, for example, you will go to the exam. There is not one OSCE that you have not seen or read before in my book. But the only thing that even if we teach you, it doesn't mean that you will apply, which is communication. Communication is your nature. Your is how you are. Some people are not confident, are not, they're not confident, they shy. So when you go to the exam, in front of the patient, they shy, they're not confident. Hence, they will lose marks. And it's so, it takes so much for you to teach them how to be confident. Some people, they loud. When they talk, they are very loud. Again, it's not good to be loud. You need certain tone of voice. So communication needs training. So if you are not confident, you need to train yourself to be confident. And there are many rules in communication. The first thing in communication is active listening. Is what? That's the, are you lost or are we? We are all talking about the factor that is different and the factor that makes you pass and fill the exam, which is, and I told you, communication needs training. Okay, one of the main things is active listening. What do I mean by active listening? What do I mean by active listening? Pay attention when the patient is speaking, yeah? But that is listening, I'm paying attention. But what is meaning of listening actively? You respond as they're what he's saying. I need one doctor here to come and I will be saying a phrase. I will be saying a phrase and I wanna see does that doctor has active listening or not? Okay? Who wants to come and talk to me? I'm gonna give him a, a, a complaint. That's not a test, guys, yeah? I'm just gonna give a complaint and I will want this doctor to just, did he listen actively to me or not? Who wants to come? And I'm just gonna communicate with someone. Just one minute communication. Who's coming? Yeah? Yeah. So she will ask me, guys, uh, so I'm giving you example about what? Communication skills. And I'm talking about specifically in communication